Hello, the purpose of this video is to help you guys out with question number three on page 64 where a ball is thrown vertically with an initial velocity and they would like to know how high does it go, how long is it in the air, things like that. So what I want to um, remind you of is velocity in itself. If we were going upward, we would call that a, a positive velocity and if we're going downward, we're going to call that a negative velocity. So um, if we look at this idea for velocity, because velocity includes direction, uh, immediately uh, a useful fact pops out. Because let's say I'm talking about the whiteboard marker. It would initially have a positive uh, velocity, but it's coming back down. So it's going to have a negative velocity on the way down. To go from positive values to negative values, you have to go through a special number zero. So there is a point in the trajectory of this object where it doesn't have a velocity. It happens right at the maximum vertical displacement. 